To our weather forecast now, and Larry's tracking some snow. A live look outside. That lake is freezing up quick. Larry, we're looking for that warm up. Yeah, and we got some warmer weather coming tomorrow if you say teens as being warmer, and that's warmer than what we've seen recently. It's next week when we really start the big warm up. But before we warm up, we've got some more snow chances coming. The first snow chance is tomorrow evening and tomorrow night, where a small band of one to even two or three inches of snow will be possible. That will impact the drive overnight tomorrow night into Thursday morning, so the commute Thursday morning will likely be impacted by that snow. And then we do it again Thursday night into Friday morning with another round of area-wide snow, maybe one to up to four inches of snow during that time frame, and that will impact the Friday morning commute. And then looking ahead to next Monday, we got the chance of some freezing rain in the forecast. So some unsettled weather as we flip from this really cold pattern to some mild weather next week. In fact, look how we quickly go from temperatures in the teens and low 20s to 30s, even 40s by the time we get to next week. There's next Thursday, high temperatures in the low 40s. So it is going to warm up next week. Tonight, though, another cold night. It's three right now. That's the high temperature for the day, too. Our wind chill is 16 below still. It's four at Midway, zero out towards Geneva, two below in McHenry, three right now in Munster. Wind chill still 15 to 20 degrees below zero, and it will stay that way overnight tonight into the morning hours tomorrow. So we have this wind chill advisory in place until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. When you look at the wind chills, first thing tomorrow morning, we'll have those wind chills down around 20 below. There's 7 o'clock in the morning. But note the wind chills as we head into the afternoon, they get up above zero. So it's going to feel finally like it's above zero for the first time since Saturday. We got clear skies now. We'll get a few clouds to roll in overnight tonight, but let me time out the snow chances for you. We'll start tomorrow morning with partly cloudy skies, clouds thicken up in the afternoon, and then as we head into the evening, here comes that band of snow. And notice it'll be a relatively thin band of snow during the evening hours, but wherever this sets up, we could put down a couple inches of snow for us, and then more snow develops overnight into early Thursday morning. And this, of course, will impact that morning commute for us. Thursday afternoon's looking dry. But as we head into Thursday night and Friday morning, here comes another round of some snow. Plus, we'll add some lake effect snow starting Thursday night into Friday morning. So those are our two snow opportunities for us. And again, plan on some slippery spots Thursday morning and also Friday morning. Here's how much snow will likely fall for us tomorrow night, though. An inch to two, maybe some isolated three inch totals by Thursday morning. And then for Thursday night into Friday, we could add another inch or two, maybe three or four inches overnight Thursday night into Friday morning. So we got some snow coming our way before we warm things up. Tomorrow there, you can see the temperatures climbing into the teens, which will be about 15 degrees warmer than today. Today we had a high temperature of three. Tonight we'll see temperatures stay in the minus five to five degree range through the overnight hours. Tomorrow we're in the teens. As we head into Thursday and Friday, we'll stay in the teens. Teens again on Saturday, but here comes that warmer air next week. Maybe 39 by next Tuesday.